right guys today we're headed down to Ely Nevada we're gonna go ride that success loop the travel Nevada website says that it is their favorite scenic drive in the state of Nevada now I don't know if they've ever been to Jarbage or the Moyo Canyon I assume they have but we're gonna find out just how good this success loop is we're gonna take the back way down to Ely we'll uh, go up over Harrison Pass down through the Ruby Valley and on down to Ely that way I'll uh, post a little clip of the route here but this should be a real good ride it'll be uh, Ruben and Manuel and myself riding from Elko down to Ely and then the rumor is now you guys might not believe this that JP ADV is going to meet us Saturday in Ely I don't know he might be back we're going to find out what are you riding today Ruben? Uh, 2021 KLX 300 oh yeah 5 gallons gasoline what's the top speed? Uh, 80 miles an hour oh wow but I just go 65, 70. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sweet bike. That's a small bike, you know, just for screwing around. Riding, cruising around. Yeah. Long trips too. <laughs> what kind of tires you got on here? Well, I got a, a Dunlop 606. The new 606s? Ones. Yeah, 606. That was the same thing you had on the KLR, wasn't it? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. So you're riding this all the way to St. George? All over, yeah. It doesn't your ass? Doesn't your ass get sore? No. No? No, because I say not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> take uh, Jigs Highway and then we'll be going all the way down to Ely. It's a back way. It's actually quite a bit shorter taking the back way. It knocks about 60 or 70 miles off of the ride but it should be dirt most of the way and it also will be pretty. I'm not sure what's going on back there. It looks like that 300 half <laughs> so I'm doing 55 miles an hour. Oh boy. <laughs> oh well. We'll figure it out. Colors out there. Wow. All those willow trees just so awesome. Oh, I can't wait to see this success loop. It ought to be good. And actually, going up this Harrison Passway, we ought to get into some pretty cool fall colors also. You can kind of see the, the orange hue up there on the Ruby Mountains. They're not normally like that. That's just a reflection off of the fall leaves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. ADV Nevada. Talk about just being engulfed in the fall colors through here. Now, I know all, all you people that live back east where you have a ton of trees or even out west along the coast where there's lots of trees. For the southwest, this is incredible. Here's a town of jigs. Oh, it's closed. Almost every time you go by this old schoolhouse over here, somebody's got a horse in there and they're taking pictures of it with their horse sticking their head out the window. Well, the good news is I just washed all the liners inside my helmet and it smells really good. Way better than it used to. I don't know what scent to dawn I used on it, but I like it. I should wish my helmet more often. <laughs> Normally I love this road, but it is covered in cow shit everywhere. 
I don't know what happened out here. Obviously, these cows were having a competition. <laughs> Hopefully, the rest of it ain't like that. I don't really know if cow poop gets slippery. I think we're going to find out, though. This is definitely one of my favorite rides. Out here pouring concrete. wonder what they're building. up here too. That's all flooded down there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, just beautiful up here. The Ruby Mountains. Oh yeah, oh this is cool. Just made it up here to Harrison Pass in the Ruby Mountains. Check this out. Oh yeah. Just Ruben and Manuel. So you wore out the front tire. I wore out the front tire. Traded it. Trading for X300. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here's the pass. Looks a little dusty up here. Oh, she's sandy. Check this out. Oh wow. Just awesome. Boy, this sand is a lot deeper than it looks. Stay on this road. Don't turn off. Here we go. Headed through the Ruby Valley. Oh, somebody's got their tent up out there. TV Nevada. Woo. Oh yeah. Look 
look at these mountains. Wow. <laughs> I think uh, Ruben found his place on the dirt road. <laughs> Check it out. They got an excavator out there on the marsh. That's probably the driest they've ever been. Yeah, I think that was a fish and game guy. We got a great big fish hatchery up here, and they call this the collection ditch this little drainage of water out here. They make a ton of trout for Nevada. That is for sure. Yeah, we'll be going by that great big fish hatchery in a minute. Ruby Lake National Wildlife Refuge. Boy, we are dry. Normally that's all pretty well flooded out there. I don't think I've ever seen the marshes dry up like this. Oh, Ruby Valley is incredible. Oh, that was a big old bug. Definitely left a mess on my windscreen. Yep. Oh, and here's that fish hatchery I was talking about. Dr. Harry M. Gallagher, State Fish Hatchery. Next up, Shantytown. There's Shantytown down there. about getting away from it all. 